Okay guys, so today we're going to take a look at the Olight S2A Baton Flashlight. A viewer sent this in and wanted to know what I thought about it, so I thought I would give you my impressions. So let's open this bad boy up. Alright, so it looks like it's held in by some type of little o-ring here pretty beefy right there all right so does it have batteries oh it does oh it's got a little protector in there looks like you got a piece of plastic here that you got to take out to to allow the batteries to activate so let's see what it looks like oh wow that's pretty damn bright. So I'm used to tail caps, um, but this is a uh, very bright uh, Cree LED, it says. Yeah, so tell you what, let's, let's put that up there so you can see that. Composite if you want. 550 lumens max, 50 days total, 110 meter throw. That is a very impressive line. So let, there's that. Oh, so it's a variable switch. If you hold it down, it'll go. And then, ah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so you just have to hold down the button and you'll see that it's on low right there, medium bright, brighter. That's pretty cool. So you don't punch it, you hold it down. But that is still very cool. So the Olight S2A Baton has a very nice spring clip here. It looks like you can, uh, looks like that'll stay in Molly gear or your kit. Um, it's got a nice rubberized coating right here. And of course it has nice Kentucky blue inserts right here. Anodized inserts, which are very cool. It does have a spot for a lanyard. And I think that's what this is. Yep, it sure is. It looks like it's wrapped up for us. Oh, yeah. Look, look at that. It's a nice padded little keeper. So, a very nifty little flashlight. Um, I like that. Oh, look, they give you a little piece of metal right there so that you can thread it through this incredibly small opening to... Um, look at that. How cool is that? That's a nice thought. Um, but these are generally considered to be very nice flashlights. They get a lot of really good press and uh, have a nice reputation. But I think that the only negative that I can see right now is that, of course, it's not made in the States. It is clearly made in China. And you can tell by the instructions. Um, but for the cost and the quality, it seems to be pretty okay. So there's all the stats right there. So yeah, my impressions are this is a very bright, very functional, not very heavy at all flashlight. It is larger than normal, but for putting it in a bug out bag or a backpack, um, I think this is, is really quite nice. Um, I, I'm actually impressed by the uh, quality of this light. Man, just look at that. I mean, this is the middle of the day. I have every light in my shop on, and it is almost blowing out. That is awesome. And if you hold it down, that is just cool. So, yeah, that's awesome. I like the fact that it has multiple settings. And I like the fact that it uses common AA bats. Looks like it uses two of them. Looks like they have their own branded batteries. But still, I like common batteries. They're cheaper, easier to get a hold of. Every coffee table in America has some of these inside a remote control. So, you know, um, pretty nifty stuff. Give you a quick wait. So you know how heavy it's going to be in your bug out bag. 
three ounces even with batteries. That's and a lanyard. That's pretty cool. And this lanyard is actually very comfortable. Um, that's actually very nice. It feels really sturdy. It's very soft and padded. And I gotta tell you, the quality on this, even if it's not made in the States, it's pretty okay. Okay, so we will finish up like we always do with final thoughts, pros and cons. Biggest pro is, for the money, this guy has tons of features. So with five settings, common batteries, very nicely made. It feels, you know, well made. It feels very nicely built, very strong. Even the lanyard feels nice. It doesn't feel like normal Chinese quality. So I'm going to give them props for that. Um, it is cool that it has different modes and settings. So if you hold it down for one second, you will get what's called the moonlight mode. So it's really hard to see, but there it is. It's very weak. Um, it's but it's there so map reading that kind of stuff if you double click it you go immediately to the brightest setting okay the the super setting and then the turbo setting I should say and then if you triple click it then you get a strobe which is awesome so it kind of has a defensive capability with that it's also big enough to you know completely fill your hand so you could do some type of pummel strike with it although be warned that there is no lens here that is straight up just the LED right there so keep that in mind you do a lot of impacts and you're probably gonna crack that Cree LED but they're very tough so maybe not so it's definitely strong enough to take impact damage and of course, the only con, you know what I'm going to say, is that it's not made in the States employing Americans. I really wish it was. I mean, we have several excellent flashlight companies, but this is definitely not made here. Um, it's one of the reasons why it's probably innovative and pretty affordable. But, but still, this is um, not too shabby for Chinese quality. It's actually really good. It's on par with anything made in the States. So it's a con depending on how you look at it. But, as always, if you like these type of videos, please do me a huge favor. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, be safe and be good.